The arrival of prophets hurt many people because prophets came with divide and rule. Families don't speak to families because of prophets. Wives and husbands divorced because of prophets. The arrival of prophets came with a lot of confusion in the body of Christ. Because as prophets, when we arrived, we started telling you the witch in your family. Because we say we are the mouthpiece of God. So whatever we speak is true and it can be otherwise. It would take another prophet to come and remove that confusion. I believe I'm one of them. I'm not blowing my own horn or clapping for myself, no. But I'm just saying based on what I've been preaching and how God has appeared himself to me. That is my assignment. Too much prophecy has raised a very weak and lazy generation of Christians. Anyone who was in a prophetic church needs to be detoxed first before they can be understood. That is why it's even more dangerous to marry a woman who was in a prophetic church because you never know. You see someone who say, ah, he's attacking prophets, he's attacking the prophetic. No. How can I attack my own office? Remember, I'm called as a prophet. It's my calling. So our arrival as prophets destroyed many lives. People lost faith in God because of us. We are the ones to blame prophets. We are the ones to blame because we came and we told them, your wife is a witch. And remember, words have got power. Marriages have been broken because of us, prophets. When we realize that, hey, we have prophesied and we are done, we have said everything, we now brought anointed materials and we said, now that prophecy is finished. Because if I prophesy to you today, and I prophesy to you tomorrow, and I prophesy to you again tomorrow, and, I pro and, and you still come back after 10 days of prophecy, then there's nothing else to prophesy. So the only thing I will do now is to say, buy the, uh, the shoe. It's an anointed shoe. It will help you. The only thing left, buy the anointed glasses. You wear them, they will help you. So what's next? There's nothing else. We have prophesied, we have finished. In my experience, I can tell you that after leading a prophetic church successfully, the only people who remained in the church when I traveled are those I never prophesied to. Those I prophesied, it's like I sparked a hunger in them of looking for more and more prophecies. So if they hear there's a new prophet, they want to go and hear something new. Because I sparked it in them. And let me tell you the gospel truth. 90% of the people I prophesy to are broke right now. Extremely broke right now. After I prophesied to them, and I told them, God is lifting you up, he's doing it, he's doing it today, they are broke. They've got nothing. Do you know why? Because I exposed their lives to the enemy without giving them the word that sustains the prophecy. That is why you see that 90% of people who are in prophetic churches, they've got nothing. Go to word-based churches who just preach the word and go home. You find billionaires there find millionaires there why they are given foundation come to prophetic church it's only people who are hungry for prophecy and they are very broke and very poor and their lives will never change why because they're after the wrong things that's why everybody has got a running tummy in the prophetic church because prophecy is icing the real cake the substance we don't give you we tell you if you want the real substance, call the God of your father, J. Israel. But who did it? We did it. Prophets. Because all we told you is that if you're in trouble, call the God of your father, J. Israel. You don't know whether I have a relationship with that God you are calling. You don't know. You have a nightmare at night. God of my father, J. Israel. That time I'm sleeping at home. I'm, I'm, I'm very sleeping extremely sleeping and you you are calling the god of my father but if you learn to study your word many people from prophetic churches are wounded because they trusted their prophet more than they trust god wounded very wounded extremely wounded this is the gospel truth that no prophet will ever tell you do you know that prophecy without word not even prayer who expose your life to the devil, to the enemy himself, and you begin to lose everything. Even things you were not supposed to lose, you lose them. 
Blessed are those who find prophecy in the word. But am I saying this because I'm attacking the prophetic? No. We have taken it too far. Something needs to end and something needs to be done. 